Hadley, what are we gonna draw today? An apple barrel. Apple barrel. A barrel full of apples. apples. <laughs> Lots of apples. Lots. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need a marker or something to draw with. Some paper. Paper and something to color with. Something to color with. You ready to start? Yes. <laughs> Let's first draw our barrel, and we're gonna draw two lines. We're gonna draw the outside of our barrel. And we're gonna draw two lines that are diagonal, one on each side of our paper, and look down at the bottom, see how they're getting closer together? Good job. There. Yeah, that's a good spot. And then let's connect the bottom line, or the bottom two lines, with a curved line to make our barrel look 3D. And then let's draw another curved line at the top. I like curving our lines to make things look more 3D. And I also like turning my paper sideways a little bit to make it easier to draw. All right, now let's draw the bottom of our barrel. Let's draw another curve down here at the bottom. <laughs> Good job. Now it's okay that our drawings are looking a little different, right? Yes. They both look great, but what's the most important thing? To have fun. To have fun and to practice. Practice. And it's okay if your drawings look different than ours, right? Yes. Okay, let's keep going. Yes. Now we need to draw two metal pieces that are holding the slats of our barrel together. So we're gonna draw another line right here, like this. And then let's draw another line right above it, going right next to it. Almost looks like the bottom of our barrel too, right? Mm -hmm. Then let's do one more just like that. We're going to draw two more lines that are curved and all of these curves match. See they're round, they're the same amount of <laughs> curving. Now let's draw the wood pieces of our barrel. So right here, this part is going to be a little tricky. We're going to start in the middle and we're going to draw a line that comes right down and connects to the first metal piece. Then we're going to imagine it going behind and then connecting down to the bottom or the other middle one and then down to the bottom. You did it. All right, now let's draw another one just like that, but we're gonna draw it more diagonal and we're gonna draw it over here in the middle. All the way down. Good. Now let's do the same thing over here on the left side, right down to the bottom and I drew it in the middle. Yeah. Now let's do that a couple more times. Let's start over here and we'll do this one, and we're doing it right in the middle between these two lines, all the way down to the bottom. Then we'll go to the next shape, or the next section. Good job, Hadley. And then let's do another one over here. And this is a great way to make all of the wood slats the same size. We're just splitting them in half each time. <laughs> All right, we did it. Now on the metal part, these two metal bands going around our barrel, let's add little dots. And I'm drawing it right in the middle of each of the slats of wood. And this is the little rivets keeping it together. And then let's do that again on this metal band going all the way around. Now, if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need more time, you can pause the video. All right, Hadley, what is our barrel missing? The apples. The apples. Let's start over here and we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a big Whoa. circle, <laughs> but I'm only drawing part of it because the other part is behind or inside of the barrel. Good job. Okay, now we can draw them overlapping. Let's draw another one right next to it. <laughs> All right, and then we can do another one. Watch this one, I'm gonna draw barely overlapping. Yeah, good job. And then we can do another one over here. And even if you want, you can add a little curved line down here at the bottom to make it look more round. And then let's add one more. And if you need to, if you have more space, you can add a couple more apples all the way across. Yeah, maybe add one more just on the end. <laughs> you did it. Okay, now over here on this side, the, since there's a little piece overlapping or sticking out, I'm gonna draw a line that connects back in, like that. All right, now it looks 3D. Let's add the stems to our apple. I'm gonna draw one stem sticking out here, make this one, all the way across on each apple. <laughs> now I'm gonna add a leaf 
sticking out of the stem. All right, should we add another row of apples? We only got one row. Let's yes. add another one on top. And this time, I'm gonna start over here on the right side. And look at this, I started in a little bit so that it looks like a pile of apples. There you go, and then let's draw another one overlapping. We're just gonna draw parts of it. Let's draw another one. And I'm gonna draw one more, and if you have room, you can draw two more. Yeah, you have room for another one. There you go. And we can draw stems coming out of those apples too. I'm gonna draw two more apples. If you want, you could add a whole row of apples. I'm just gonna add two more, one there and maybe one over here also. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add one more. I gotta add another one right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. There you go, do it. Uh, we finished our pile of apples, except I'm going to add more leaves on some of them. Not all of them, just a few. So I'm going to draw maybe... Uh... <laughs> That's a big leaf, I like it. <laughs> Sticking up right on the top. <laughs> I'm going to do one just like that, right there. <laughs> all right, Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our barrel of apples. Did you have fun? Yes. Now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Go. Yeah, it's gonna look so much better all colored in. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. Hadley, you did a great job on coloring your apples, and I love the little highlight you added on mm -hmm. each apple. It makes it look shiny, right? Yes. I also added some shading to make it look more 3D, and even on the barrel. But you can leave that off to keep this lesson a little easier. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your apple barrels. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye.